Good evening, and welcome to Several Questions with Nate Chappell. Tonight, we've got some questions for Finn Hammond. And now, here is your host, Nate Chappell. Hello, I'm Nate Chappell, and the crisp autumn air is making me think back to simpler times, before the advent of life on Earth, when it was just a bunch of rocks and water and gas and sand, and we didn't mind a bit. We couldn't, because we didn't exist yet. And sure, due to its lack of ozone layer and free oxygen, our present-day cells would find it a blazing, suffocating, and desolate hellscape. But great news, we're not there. Our never-ending, unsolicited opinions haven't even started yet. Problem solved. Hell, even better. We and our evolutionary ancestors in the quest for immortality through perpetual propagation essentially invented the very concept of problems. So no problem to solve. Hooray! Now, I'm not saying I want to go there, although the way things are going as far as humanity torching the planet, I might not have a choice. It appears we all may be headed for simpler times. Hooray! And hooray for me for landing that pep talk. Really inspirational. Speaking of hooray, we're going to ask Finn several questions, which may include who are you, and do you like the show Everybody Loves Raymond? I am the Segway King. Oh, you didn't vote for me? Well, why don't you take me to court? Now you at home say, what court? And I'll say, nay court. What you're about to witness is a TV judge show. The cases are real, the gavel is a croquet mallet, and the judgments are final. Judge Nate is not an actor. They said he didn't have the right look. You be the judge, but not here, because this is Nate Court. I guess I just don't see the problem here. Sure, she fudged the numbers a little bit, but you do run a fudge store, so what did you expect? Case dismissed. Judge Nate loves the law so much that he goes to the bar every single day, sometimes even sits on a bench and gets uh, gaveled. Speaking of gavels, it sounds like gravel, and Finn seems like a guy who loves little rocks. Thanks for joining me tonight, Finn. You're very welcome, and you're right. So the way the several questions work is that I've created a terrifying list of 100 very spooky questions, which I keep in a secret tomb in my basement. Finn has scarily chosen some haunted numbers between 1 and 100, and for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to ask him the questions that correspond to those numbers. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking about releasing this around Halloween, so if this episode is especially grotesque, well, that's why. (laughs) All right, Finn, are you ready to do this? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so um, let's see. Let's go to the questions. I'm going to just randomly select one like this. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a fun one to start with. It's a, you know, you've heard it. Okay. So hug, Mary kiss. That's what we do on the show, you know, to keep it, to keep it uh, PG and we just keep it positive. You know what I mean? So hug, Mary kiss. The three things are um, three of the seven deadly sins, sloth, greed, and gluttony. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got to hug gluttony, right? Um, Big yeah, jolly that's true. old gluttony. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, and then Mary. So you get sloth, sloth and greed. Yeah, I think sloth. that's right. Yeah, and then um, what's it? Kiss greed. greed. Yeah. yeah, kiss greed. Yeah, it might be a little. It'd be a lot of tongue in there, I bet. But still, yeah, <laughs> yeah. greedy little protruding tongue. <laughs> oh, that was good. You answered that with ease, and you answered it correctly. Congratulations. Correctly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, okay. all of these do have correct <laughs> answers. Um, and incorrect answers. Okay, if music was food, mm-hmm. what kind of food would Smash Mouth be? It'd be like a um, key lime pie. Mm-hmm. Just go down real easy, and then you'd be you'd think about yeah. it twenty years later, and you'd be like, oh, "What was I, I ate eating?" Uh-huh. And the the I mean the original the first album was better. I was trying to make a pie reference to the first one being better, but I oh uh, yeah. Some people say Smash Mouth had a really good first album or something. They do. Uh, ah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not willing to investigate. Um, what about the Beatles? What would the what would that be? Be like a key lion pie. No, I'm joking. 
<laughs> You're like, hold on, look at the list of answers that Nate sent. Uh, something that lasts a really long time. Um, ooh, it's good. like a can of beans. Does that can seem beans, right? That does seem British too, liver pug uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah, they have that with their on their toast. Mm, is that true? Yes, and they don't really like peanut butter. That's no, messed up. Seriously. I don't know what the two have to do with each other, but they do <laughs> something. Um, what about Green Day? I just want to Green Day. Answer. That would be mm, that's a great question. Uh, a burrito. I was thinking tacos. Yeah, yeah. A little messy. I feel like tacos yeah, are a bit exactly. messy. You know what I mean? They might break and stuff. I, 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 I was wondering if you'd say hot dogs. Uh, I should have said hot dogs because I'm setting you up for this great. Story. Okay, ready. So uh-huh. once. In a while, I used to work at a hot dog store, and Billy Joel Armstrong, the lead singer of Green Day, would come in. He informed me, and I knew this already before he came, but he had worked at the very same hot dog stand. Oh, I forgot. And he talked to me about cooking the hot dogs. And he'd be like, That linguisa gets real messy. You got to be careful about that. And I'd be like, Oh my God, you're so much shorter than I thought you were. Mm-hmm. I got butt inside in my head. Yeah, and you're like, where are you going? And he's like, past <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's a great, uh, great And story. so, yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. So, hot, I guess hot dogs. Yeah, no, why not? Hot dogs and tacos are pretty right, boy, same, Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Whoa. Well, number 51 here. What was the weirdest thing in your basement growing up? Did you have a basement? Mm. I guess you're a California kid. I guess maybe you didn't have one. Uh, yeah, I didn't really have a basement. I had a, my dad had a duplex, uh, like, but stacked on top of each other, but one was not occupied. It's like where I mm. would play music. Um, and I guess the weirdest thing was like you, me. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> a weird teenager. Uh-huh. No, I didn't say uh, what the smelliest thing was. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not far off either. <laughs> um, it was like an empty apartment that's just kind of had broken tiles. And it was, I don't know. Um, so probably, probably yeah. the entire apartment. Yeah. I'm going to uh-huh. say that. Yeah. That the basement was not a basement, but an apartment that was <laughs> yeah. unoccupied. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That is scary. Did any ghosts live there? Um. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Mm. Not that I know of. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> yeah. If you had to suddenly, number 75, if you had to suddenly become a sports commentator, what sport would you best be suited to commentate? What's the slowest sport? Um, I mean, golf is pretty slow. And there's not that much to say about it, right? It's slow, but the way they do it with the commentating is that they'll go from hole to hole. They'll like edit a bunch together. Oh, I so see, really, I see. it's not like you're killing. It's not like you have like a half an hour to kill. But there isn't. It is also like a very expert thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It requires a lot. So I feel like it might be tough to fake. That would be, be my worry about golf. That's the problem. I feel like I'd face with any sport. What about is bowling? They, bowling, I guess I know the ins and outs of bowling pretty much. Um, I mean, I probably you probably don't, but what? I just feel like no one would care. Maybe that's my what I is that there's not that many people that care. Really about care. Bowling. Yeah. yeah, for sure. If it was uh, if it was like uh, a fast game, then I'd have to make a bunch of you just exactly like <laughs> baseball would be tough like baseball there'd be land spans of nothing going on and then uh, suddenly a bunch going on and i'd be like i wonder if you could it off do... the plate puts it in the pot you i know? wonder if I, I, you know the question doesn't necessarily say that you couldn't be the color person you know what i mean the person that just you know for baseball or football it's like the the not the person that calls the plays but the person uh, that like between plays is like chatting and like I providing see. like more so you could be like googling stuff on your phone, like yeah, what to sure. say to football or whatever. <laughs> and is it is it is asking a bunch of questions uh, a form of color? <laughs> yeah, I think so. What's that guy's name? Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> which team is that guy on? <laughs> I mean, his first name. What's his did first he, name? Did he mean to drop that? 
<laughs> okay, uh, I think we got that. Now, uh, oh, if you were watching a magic show and the magician asked for an audience volunteer, would you volunteer? I don't think so. Even if like nobody else was doing it, then I'd do it. Yeah, out of like <laughs> guilt, out of like obligation. To yeah, out of guilt. Person, the magic, magic's done so much for me. And then you would like, yeah, you would just be like sitting up there, like, <laughs> I didn't want to do this. <laughs> so, what about hypnosis? Would you be more likely to, if it was a hypnotist or a magician? Magician. Yeah, me too. You know, they both get in your head. But um, they're both messing with reality, both man. Messing with reality. <laughs> <laughs> My mom hates magicians, you know. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? Because they're liars. Really? Yeah. Um, would you rather be attacked by <laughs> one thousand ants or not be attacked by one thousand ants? <laughs> um, be a good story. Would be a right? good story. Also. In the scenario where you don't get attacked by 1,000 ants, you get attacked by 10,000 ants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, okay. With my story meter, I guess that would be much better. That's a better that's story. A, yeah. That's a better story. I'd say about, you know, 10 the times better. Um, there's, what, what, what is a hundred, what does 10,000 ants look like? Is it just look like, imagine. It's can like, you fit seems in like hand? what's a, what's a five? No way. Was it like a five gallon bucket? Full yeah, of pretty ants. big ants. Um, a five gallon bucket full of ants would probably be like ten thousand ants. I feel like that would be that's too big. <laughs> okay, I feel like that would be it would be like that, half. That would be well. Also, how big are your ants in in where you are? Big. Okay, yeah, this, that's a bucket for for sure. That's five <laughs> yeah. gallons. Uh, ten thousand miles. <laughs> uh, um, next up. They roam the plains. Uh, you can see them in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. If you... Okay, no, hold on. Oh, if you got to be a different animal for one week, that got to or had to be a different animal and you had to do it for one week, not a human, what animal would you pick? I'd be a bird, baby. Why? Got to match fly. your tiny brain. To match my tiny brain. And you want to uh, fly fly i want to eat a bug <laughs> well you can i got great news for you on that last part okay yeah you can go ahead and eat a bug right now what yeah anytime this you is want the, this is a great show <laughs> <laughs> this show is really cool well we try to this is what we try to do is we try to not only ask people questions but find solutions to real life problems <laughs> and your real life problems that you want to be a do bird stuff oh yeah that's true and i found a bird stuff for you to do and that you means did. Dingling, ling, 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 that jingling of chains, ooh, means our time is up. By which I mean the Grim Reaper himself is going to come gather us into his robe and shepherd us to our deaths. Psych, I got you so good. The look on your face is, oh my God, so funny. But it does mean that it's time to move on to the zombie round. Stick around. Hey, baby, my new job has a lot of after work events, but I've already got friends. How can I get out without looking like a jerk, punching out in Pensacola? Well, baby, what do you think? So during the break, we killed a bunch of questions just because we're totally like messed up in the head. And then they came back from the dead after getting struck by the lightning round. This is all canon now. It all makes sense. Trust me. So Finn, for the zombie round, you're going to try to answer as many of my zombie round questions as you can before the zombies break into your compound which will take about 30 seconds okay yeah ready to get eight yeah all right our time begins now on a scale of one to ten what is the best number six are you a rock or a stick stick corduroy or quarter pounder quarter pounder fill in the blank blank stranger danger or ranger rick (laughs) <laughs> Stranger danger. What's bigger, a rock or a bigger rock? Bigger rock. Do you have any gum? No. Do you believe in muffins? Ooh, you got seven. Seven correct. Good. Uh, seven answered oh, accurately. Man. 
Thank you for joining us, everybody, and a big thanks to Finn for answering our several questions. Okay, look. Over there, it's a Bigfoot. Holy shit, I got you again. You are so gullible. Remember before when I said that Grim Reaper thing and I was trying to try to vaporize and you were like, what? No, I'm too young. And I was like, buddy, shh, shh, shh. And I was just joking. And you're still like, it's not my time, Nate. There's so much. I never even got to see the bucket list. And I'm like, okay, well, that's on you. It's been out for like a decade. It's fucking brilliant. So yeah, maybe you should die. Might as well if you haven't enjoyed the pairing of Jack Nicholas and Morgan Freedom on the silver screen. I can't find my bucket list. Did you check your other pants? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Several Questions with Nate Chapel. You can find more shows at Wolfout TV on YouTube or go to wolfout.tv on internet.